This is MacGyver Sharon. We are changing the caliper. These are my new brake pads. This is my big beautiful red truck. The caliper's kind of jacked. So I need to take this caliper off. These are new rotors from like six months ago. The backup is kind of rough already. Back. See? And it wore down the back brake pad because we think and suspect it is the caliper. So I bought a new caliper. So now got some goop on there to try to make that easier to open. Okay, now I just wanted to show you the old one. You see all this broken rubber right here? Can you see that? Yeah. I don't think it's supposed to be like that. And this thing, I guess it must hold the brake pads inward. But when I took it off, it was kind of like, kind of like that. I'll crook it. BRB. Okay, while well, my supervisor instructor is preoccupied, I'm going to try to take this off. And it looks to me like it's held on. Right here. With a bolt there and one on the bottom. And I don't know. I don't know. My tools are all jacked, but uh, it looks like an 18. Can we see a number? Well, I swear it says 18 on it somewhere. So I'm going to try to loosen those two and see if that's what takes this off. Which I don't remember what it's called. But my supervisor instructor will inform me when he gets back. Alright, on to that part. Woohoo! Okay, we're back. And one thing I must stress, when you're working on your freaking car in the heat of Arizona, I don't know if you can hear me better, I put my little tone Bluetooth on, but you must stay hydrated. <laughs> I think I've been carrying this around in that 12 volt fridge for three weeks, as long as I've had it. Seemed like the perfect time. All right, I'm gonna rest for a sec because it's freaking hot. Oh, check it out. I put my new tent up to block the sun, but the sun's going away now. It's not up all the way because I don't want to go into the neighbor's yard of where I'm at. All right, back to the break and BRB. And we'll get this thing done. Okay, I got that new thing on right here. I've tightened the nuts. Well, I haven't tightened them. I almost tightened them. 
but I'm not strong enough to make sure the torque is right. So that's what my handy dandy sweet friend, strength instructor. Ooh, look at this. Now that's a tool, huh? All right. All right, leverage. Her. All I got to do is put my weight in it, huh? off. I'll set you down. And I'm going to do the switcheroo from this little tool to the uh, uh, Tim the Tool Man tool. And then I'm going to tighten those two nuts on the back of this holder thingy. What's this holder thingy called? Hellifino. It's called a Hellifino. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. The caliper holder thingamajigger. We're going to use Tim the Toolman tool to tighten the Helifino. This thing that actually holds the brake pads right there against the rotors. Lessons. Okay. This is going to be awkward. I'm going to have to put you down. BRB again. And go. There's the Tim the Toolman tool. Woo -woo. So why were these so hard to get off? They freaking put Loctite on there. All right. So, once you get them off, they got to go in here. You know, when I bought this, lube was not a lexicon in the sex industry. You know you're on video, right? <laughs> So it turns out Where my old your camera, look. Magic loop. Oh my god. <laughs> so my old ones, these weren't, uh, these were kind of like stuck. So and when I finally got this one loose, it sort of broke off, so. But why they put Loctite on there? I do have some Loctite. You'd think you'd want it on after. So. Herb. Magic lube for your calipers. <laughs>